In this video, we're going to take a look at creating a quote and adding items to it. If we go into the opportunities page, we can head over to the right hand side and click on create. Here you will be able to choose the stage of opportunity that you wish to create. I did want to mention here that these four stages don't need to be followed in any particular order. You can jump in at any stage you wish and convert it down the pipeline as the job progresses. If we look into each of these opportunity stages, the first one we have here is an inquiry. This is used to log contact with a potential customer without adding details of any products needed for the upcoming event. Then the draft stage is essentially a consultation of the items list, where we can start adding products and understand the customer's specific needs. At this point, we're not focusing on the pricing. A quotation is where we can start pricing up the job and send it to the customer for their approval. And then there's the order stage, which is the confirmed booking, where we can start invoicing for the order and look at the warehouse process. The quotation and order stages are the most commonly used stages. So therefore, in this video, I'm going to go ahead and create a quote. Within this creation page, there are four main sections to fill in, meaning it can take only 30 seconds to create a quotation. Firstly, we have the subject, where we can input the job name or event title. Then the organisation, where we can start typing in as someone that is within our people and organisations module. Alternatively, if they're not already an existing customer, we can add them through this green plus icon. I did want to highlight here that if you are using one of our accounting integrations, then it is possible to import customers and information from the solution over to current RMS, saving time on the data entry. Next up is the dates, where we can select the start and the end date. Let's say, for example, that this event is going to take place on Friday the 12th. We're going to set a buffer date either side, one day for the preparation and one day for the deep prep. The reason for this is if we move into this full scheduler, we can allocate the days and timings to those specific activities. If the equipment, for example, is in use on the Friday, then we can state that here. With the buffer days, we can then say that we want one day of preparation and one day to deprep all the equipment. Whilst this will take the equipment out of availability for those three days, chargeable days allows us to say that we actually only want to charge the customers for one day that the equipment is in use. To recap this, Chargeable days are used to indicate how many days we want to charge the customer, whereas the start and end date are there for internal availability of the products. The next step is to input the delivery address. If the customer is already in our address book, then we can select their address on the drop down and it will bring through the information for us. Alternatively, we can also search for a venue that we have within the system and it will bring through the delivery details for us there as well. Once all the details we need have been filled in, we can go ahead and create this quotation at the bottom here. The next thing to do is to add products to this quote. We can do that by going into this show picker, which essentially works as a shopping basket. Here we can search for the products that we are looking for or head into the product group and search here. We can select the products and quantities that we want to add against this quote. I am going to click into here and add some random products. And now head into a product group and add some more products. Here we can see that the items we selected have been added to the items list on this quotation. This items list is completely customizable where we can add products on if we're missing anything and delete things off. We will go into more depth on this customization in the following video.